Chronicles of Crime Welcome to Redview is an expansion to the co-op crime solving game. Set in 1980s Maine, you'll need the base game and a phone or a tablet to play. When we review connected games or expansions, we link them together in the end screen. We've done the same here, meaning this will link to Chronicles of Crime. Because I explain how the game plays in the base game, I'll instead focus on what's different. First, you're no longer a police officer or detective, but rather high school students. You don't have forensic experts, special action cards, or even mobile phones to call people you've met. Instead, you're kids, each with their own skill ratings. The one icon represents fitness, the second is speech, and the third is mind. You'll occasionally be asked how you want to approach a certain task. Discuss, then roll the dice. Green tests add one to your die, and red ties subtract one. Add your role to your character's skill rating. A five or six is one success, a seven or greater is two successes. To pass, the group needs as many successes as there are players. The bottom left of your card shows how many energy bars you have. Energy can be spent to perform a test again. Players may spend energy as they wish, but each player's energy can only be used for their own roles. Anyhow, answer in the app, then proceed. You'll still scan locations to visit them, scan people to talk to them, and scan items to learn about them. I don't want to spoil things, so I'll only show the school you visit at the very beginning. See the baseball hat in the bottom left corner? All the cards in this expansion have that, so you'll be able to keep things straight. Because you are kids, you won't be able to easily access certain places, especially at certain times. You also need to worry about curfews. Keep a close eye on the time and head back to your treehouse before it gets too late. Rest for the night, refresh your energy, then go back out and investigate the next day. When you think you're ready to solve the case, you'll also do this from your treehouse. Scan cards, piece clues together, and solve crimes. That's Chronicles of Crime, welcome to Review. Chronicles of Crime, Welcome to Review's board and locations, let alone the additional player areas, mean you should save this for dining tables. Our games averaged around two hours, including setup and takedown. This is surprising because Noir averaged around 90 minutes. There's a lot of reading and there's a bit of violence, although nothing like the base game or Noir. The story here is creepy compared to the first two games' is disturbing cases. I'd say gamers 9 and up who can handle something as spooky as Harry Potter should be fine. Chronicles of Crime Welcome to Redview's storyline is more accessible for a wider audience. It isn't exactly kid-friendly, but it's a better fit for younger players than, say, noir. I love how each case, aside from the last one, could be played as a standalone, but actually have threads that connect them all. Smart. The curfew and time systems work really well. Some places close at 7, others open, and people move from work to home or wherever. It's realistic and forces you to really pay attention to wherever people said they were going. On the other hand, there's more running around in this expansion than the other games in the series, so time is tight. The character's skill ratings, especially for the extremes, mean some are better suited for certain tests. Even more of a difference are the energy bars. These are smallish additions, but ones that I like. One awful change is the dice. I don't think luck has a place in this series. I wouldn't mind if they kept energy, but scrap the dice, and keep this as a game about thoughtful deduction and puzzle solving. The base game insert has labeled storage slots for the expansions. Nice. Chronicles of Crime and its noir expansion are both in my top 10 games of all time. Welcome to Review definitely isn't. The typos and bugs are ridiculous. I'm 10, and I spotted tons of spelling errors, not to mention the time where the game didn't tell us the scanned item was a clue, and lockups. Thankfully, no crashes, seeing as a bunch of people on Board King Geek have had to deal with those. I'm torn. Do I recommend this because I enjoy the series' gameplay and this expansion story, or do I tell you to hold off because it feels like a prototype? If you love Chronicles of Crime, maybe check this out once you finish Noir in the DLC. If you were thinking of getting this, you might get frustrated with the errors and dice. We certainly did. Hopefully some app updates will fix the errors.